You are welcome to the first session of my life empowerment message. First of all, I'll give thanks to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for his wonderful and kindness towards humanity. This COVID-19, he has protected us and we are still alive. Secondly, I'll give thanks to Chosen Stars and Life Empowerment Message Team for their wonderful support, especially Mr. Nasiru Ademukasim. I appreciate it a lot for their commitment. Thank you. Life Empowerment Messages are brought to protect and guide you to achieve your dreams. So catch up with us by subscribing to our channel to get update videos to empower your life. I promise that videos on this channel are videos that will empower your life, will let you sustain the passion and the enthusiasm you have in achieving your dream, meeting your aspirations, and moving ahead in life. But not to retrogress. So always be with us. Before starting today's message, I'm having a nice motivational quote by Zig Ziglar. Quote, you cannot climb the ladder of success dressed in the costume of failure. You cannot climb the ladder of success dressed in the costume of failure. Now, what Zig Ziglar wanted to mean is that the circumstances surrounding your failure must change. Your attitude, your behavior needs to be changed before you can achieve success. The attitude you showed in when you failed needs to be changed. If you were lazy, work hard. If you were a messer, be kind. If you wasn't showing much commitment in your relationship, in your work, in your marriage, you need to commit yourself 100% to it, not 99. If you do that, you can change the situation. You can change from failure to success. No one is born to fail, but we made ourselves a failure. So change the circumstances, and the failure will also change to success. We thank Zig Ziglar for his wonderful quote. We thank him a lot. To begin today's lesson, the topic for discussion is disappointment is a way to success, not failure. So wake up. My brother, wake up. My daddy, wake up. Hmm? Disappointment is becoming sad, stressed, depressed. Because what you were hoping for, hmm? what you wished, didn't come true. So you are now hurt down. Sorry, but it has happened. Yes, and it needs to happen because it adds up to the beauty of life. You are the only, not the only person who has faced rejection. We've all faced rejection and disappointment one way or the other. But still, life is in session. Mm? Some of the successful people, like Jack Ma, who owns Alibaba Company from China, has experienced numerous temporal obstacles, but he, he still moved forward. Mm? We can make mention of Big Gate, who owns Microsoft from US. If you can, can draw closer to him, go and ask him. Dan Gote from Nigeria, and even some of the successful businessmen in Ghana, like Osai Kwame Despite of Despite Group of Companies, Kennedy Ejapon of Ken City Media, and even the president of a motherland, the certain president today, His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado, has faced countless disappointment, even from within his inner circles. His own party members, once upon a time, betrayed him. They disappointed him. Even his own family members disappointed him, but he still moved forward. He's now a president. He's achieved, he has achieved his dream. What about you? It means that despite disappointment, you can also achieve your dreams. Hmm? As Morphine's law states, whatever can go wrong will go wrong. Of all the things that can go wrong, the worst possible things will go wrong at the worst possible time and cost the most amount of money. 
This means that, despite your effort, disappointment is inevitable and unavoidable. Do you remember your worst defeat? Yes. You tried harder. You fought to your last breath. But still, it happened. As the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, so also disappointment is. The more meaningful you plan your life, the more difficulties and problems you face. But interestingly, the number of times you face disappointment can never determine your failure or your success. Yes. But how you respond to it? So if you face disappointment 100 times, 200 times, 1,000 times, thank God that it can never stop you from achieving your success. But how do you respond to it is the problem to your question. The question is, if disappointment comes upon you, unexpected and unwanted, how do you respond to it? Do you let it overwhelm you? Do you let it weigh you? Do you become angry? Do you blow up? Do you blame people? Do you attack people? Or you roll with the punches and respond effectively? The answers to these questions differentiate the successful and the non-successful. Hmm? So if you want to achieve success, ask yourself, how are you going to respond to this disappointment, to this rejection? This is how the successful people respond to disappointment. They take stride, they recover, and continue forward. Meaning, they accept and deal with problems without letting it weigh in them, or without letting it worry them too much. They get to normal and don't give up. But ask yourself, when you face rejection, what do you do? Do you give up? Our you can define, you know the answers yourself. On the contrary, this is how the non-successful people respond to disappointment. It stops them, they quit, and they go back to their previous state. Yes, when they face rejection, they stop whatever they are doing. They quit and move back to their previous state. If they were in class one, they get to class one. If they were in class two, they get back to class two without progressing. But nature didn't allow humanity to just retrogress, but to progress. That is why God, the nature designed you to what? Walk forward. Hmm? Nature allows you to grow. Yes. So despite disappointment, you have 100% chance of achieving success. Hmm? You have 100% chance of achieving success. Yes. Very good. Now, let us look at some nine strategies by some of the renowned successful people to handle disappointment. Now, I will let you get three today and the rest in the following or the subsequent videos. First, mental pre preparation. Yeah, mental pre preparation is to prepare you in advance. Hmm? It's to prepare in advance for the inevitable disappointment of life. Yes. Prepare in advance that you can face re eh, divorce. You can, eh, you can face a whole lot of what? Problems. So therefore, if that problem comes, it's not a problem to you again, but rather what you hope for. And it has happened. Hmm? It helps you to gain and keep control of your emotions, assuring that you are primarily positive and constructive. Yes, but by doing this, you need to begin with the premise that you are going to face all kinds of problems and difficulties and rejections in whatever you have decided to accomplish in life. If you have planned to marry, tell yourself that you are going to face whatever problems happen in it. If you want to establish a company, tell yourself that you are going to face whatever problems in it. If you do that, it will help you. And when it comes, it will not take you up. Eh? as rapture it did not take you as a surprise but you can face it mentally because you prepare for hmm? we only fear what we are ignorant of as Epictetus the Greek stoic philosopher once wrote the circumstances do not make the man they only reveal him 
to himself and to others. Yes. It means that when you face any situation, how you react, tell yourself that this is how you are and tell other people that this is how you are. Hmm? This is how you are. So just prepare in advance for the disappointment. Prepare in advance for the rejection that you, pass, you, you just passed through. If you do that, it will help you. The second point is practice Christ's anticipation. Hmm? By practicing Christ's anti uh, Christ anticipation, it is by looking through the future and identifying the unexpected emergencies that would okay, that would hmm, threaten your goals. This is done by asking yourself questions like, what are some of the negative things that could happen that would derail your plans? What are the very worst things that could happen? Hmm? Afterwards, make a list of all them. This is also called what? Christ. Eh? This is called what? Thinking ahead. You will think ahead of whatever is going to happen. If you do that, my brother, you don't have problem with it. You don't have problem. Oh, expect. Think that. No, just look at some of the negative things that is going to happen during your marital what? journey. During your journey of what? Journey of life. If you do that, it will help you. Hmm? The third point is look into the future. Now, this is by practicing Christ's anticipation regularly in everything you do. Imagine some of the negative things that, could, that might happen and how could you respond to them? Oh, you will surprise how much positive and confident you will feel whenever you face what? Disappointment because of your mental readiness. Oh, you are ready to face it because you've explored all the negative things that might happen to your divorce, to your separation, hmm? to your job lost. So don't worry. If you do that, it will help you. Hmm? And develop alternative courses of action to some of the worst things that could happen in a certain particular of your life. For example, in your relationship life, in your marital life, hmm? in your job that you are in today, just imagine some of the negative things that might happen. They can suck you. Hmm? They can demote you. If, you. if you are aware of that, if you just think of that, it will help you a lot. So today, I'm giving you three strategies. First of all, make mental preparation. Second, practice Christ's anticipation. And third, look into the future. Expect the remaining sex in the next video, next week. So, catch up with us. Try to leave your comment and share for other people to also benefit. Because disappointment is one of the most mm, dangerous things that is causing a whole lot of death in life. Mm, it's one of the most dream stealer in our life, life. So try to share and leave your comment. We'll meet same channel, same week. Thank you.